Only one person attacked the babies on the neonatal unit in Chester. But if this hospital had accepted and acted on what their own consultants were telling them, lives might have been saved. Dr Susan Gilby was made chief executive of the trust in Chester after Lucy Letby's arrest in 2018. She suspects that management inaction allowed Letby to continue killing. Speaking more as a, as a mother um, than a doctor or a, a, a senior leader in the NHS, that that will turn out to be the case. Dr Gilby, like many others, believes only a full public inquiry is capable of uncovering what really happened. Evidence in that situation will be given under oath and I'm sure that an inquiry has the same gravitas as proceedings in court will cause people to pause and really reflect on whether or not they are giving straightforward, truthful accounts. Because only if we have the absolute truth can we learn the lessons. The families of Letby's victims will soon meet with the health secretary to help shape the inquiry. I'll be engaging with them on that, whether that's on a statutory or non-statutory basis, to ensure that inquiry looking at issues such as whistleblowers and other actions related to this case are fully investigated. The current acting chief executive said the hospital welcomes the independent inquiry. And in addition, the trust will be supporting the ongoing investigation by Cheshire Police. Due to ongoing legal considerations, it would not be appropriate for the Trust to make any further comment at this time. But some of the families of Letby's victims want this to be a tipping point for the entire NHS. Within the, the hospital system at the moment, we have some accountability for clinicians, um, at least something of a system there for that. We don't have an adequate system of accountability for hospital managers. That has got to change, and I, I really hope that this is the case that changes it. Nothing can undo the appalling harm inflicted by Lucy Letby. She will die in prison. But just what happened on this neonatal unit is far from over. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Cheshire.